Well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. I think about that, even like the song we sang. How easy it is to turn to a hymn and say, let's sing this song, and yet our, our minds are disengaged. We're not truly considering the word. And I'll tell you, our hymn book, you have to be very selective in what we sing. There's 400 some hymns in there, but there's only about 40 of them, if you've noticed, that I ever point out or have a sing. And it's because what we do is to the glory and honor of Christ. Otherwise, it's vain worship. In vain, verse 9, they do worship me, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. There again, you see doctrines is in plural. Wherever it has to do with the doctrine of Christ, it's always singular. The doctrines, whatever men hold to in tradition, they worship God in vain. And then he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand. It's as if he's leaving these Pharisees to themselves. Now he's directing this attention to people that these Pharisees wanted following them. He called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man. How much have we grown up here and touch not, taste not, have not? And in one fell swoop, the Lord said, It's not what goes into the mouth of a man that defiles a man. But that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. 